This is Alice Rogers, Membership and Awards Specialist at the American Volleyball Coaches Association. This recruiting tip is brought to you by the Badger Region, an affiliate partner of the ABCA, and courtesy of the Art of Coaching Volleyball. I'm going to talk to you about a checklist uh, of things you can be doing if you are a freshman and you're interested in playing college volleyball. The first thing I'd tell you to do if you want to play college volleyball is go watch some college volleyball. You can glean a lot of important things from just seeing college volleyball. One, how big and physical are the players. Two, how fast is the game. Three, you know, what kind of style do they play? Is it something that you're going to fit into um, with the way that you like to play volleyball? Start thinking about what's important to you and making a list of schools that um, fit into that criteria. So if you want to play at a really high level close to home, what schools are playing at a high level close to you? So think about all those different priorities that could be important in your decision making process and start making a list of schools that fulfill those criteria. So you have a list of schools that you're interested in. Um, now you're going to need to make a recruiting video to be able to send to them so they can put you on their list of athletes that they're going to go see. Uh, recruiting videos don't have to be expensive, they don't have to be fancy, and they don't have to be long. Like this is a, you know, a one to two minute video that's supposed to get a coach's attention enough to come see you live at a tournament. All we're really looking for is are you athletic enough, you know, do you hustle enough, are you a great leader, and so we're just looking for things with potential that in four years might fit into our system. Another thing to think about as you're getting into club season, so the middle of your freshman year, is getting on a really competitive club team. That's not to say that you can't be recruited if you're not on a super competitive club team. There's some incidences where people don't play club or you know they're on a bad team but they're a great player, but it's only gonna help you to play at a higher level and to be seen um, in clubs that are getting recruited at often, and um, they can kind of help guide you through the process too. Now you're gonna reach out and contact uh, the coaches in those schools, and most websites have the coaches' contact information, and so you can just get on the website, find their email address, and send them an email that introduces yourself with a link to your highlight video on YouTube. You want to make sure that you give us uh, some information of who we can respond to and who we can get information to uh, when we are interested in you. Another great way to get your information out to college coaches is to make a profile on University Athlete. It's a software that we use for recruiting at the big tournaments, and every person that's registered with USA Volleyball has an account, and so you can go in and update what your information says. So it's really helpful when you have your email address and your University Athlete profile. When you have your coach's email address, you can attach links to your video that you made already. You can put your jump touch info if you're a hitter. You can put your parents' names in there. You can put um, a variety of information that's awesome and that's helpful for us when we're at a tournament and we're looking at 20 kids and we can find your information really fast. Probably the most important thing in the recruiting process is you taking care of yourself in school and just getting better at volleyball. Make sure you're enjoying playing the game and that you're keeping your grades up because grades are gonna be a huge part of the recruiting process as you get a few years down the road, seeing what schools you can actually get into and making sure you qualify from the NCAA standards with good grades and good test scores. I think that it's awesome that you guys have dreams and goals, but you have to remember to stay patient through this process. And there's not a lot of people in the world that um, are the best they're gonna be at 15 years old. And in fact, we hope as college coaches that you continue to get better. Other schools are gonna continue to evaluate their needs and look at you and um, it's really about having fun. And even when you get to college, it should be about you enjoying playing the game. And sometimes that can get lost in the recruiting process because you get stressed. Stay focused on your process, enjoy loving the game, continue to get better and, um, and good things will happen. And that's your recruiting tip of the week. Thanks for your membership in the Badger region.